Hello, this is Rupan RX. Uh, today we're going to be looking over some guns you can pick up if you are a Massachusetts gun owner, new gun owner, old gun owner, whatever gun owner you are, and right now you want to try to pick something up, or you want to look for something that's a little more budget friendly and not pre ban this is what we're going to be going through. Okay, so on the table right here, we've got a Arsenal SLR 107 UR. Okay, and we have a um, a AR-15 prototype over there. It's it's kind of a BRN proto. I assembled it myself from Blem parts. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, pretty much, you know, you're looking at something pre-ban. Uh, that's a Sandy Hook lower over there. Uh, you know, these guns. First off, that gun in a regular old school looking configuration uh you're probably looking at like 1500 to 2500 uh this gun right here i have a lot into and i was trying to let it go for like 25 and uh i wasn't getting any bites but you know people are getting a little uh a little worried about out there you know you're not going to find another one of these guys kicking around i put the uh the polymer stock back on because it was more comfortable than the uh triangle folder but uh, okay, so you want these, right? You don't want you don't want other things. But here's the problem, you know, people are picking these up for four hundred bucks in other states. People are picking these up for four hundred. Obviously not these, but they're picking up the the budget, you know, Delton and uh, what's the other? Not Palmetto State Armory, but what's the uh, the Polish company? Yeah, put it down below in the comments if you remember the Polish company that I'm thinking of. That makes some very low budget AKs. But either way, all right. So there's a bunch of low-budget AKs, a bunch of low-budget ARs. People see that these are expensive and they freak out. You know, I can't, I can't be spending this kind of money on this. So what kind of guns can you be spending money on? Okay, this is not in any order. These are just the way that are the easiest to grab them. Let's get this guy off the table. We're going to start with something else that... Uh, takes AR mags. Boom. This gun is a Caltech SU-16. I forget what model this is. They have a Massachusetts model. Uh, it's a little bit, has a different stock on here and has a longer sight radius, which is better for being a target. There's a pin right here that you can knock out and this will fold into the magazine well. Now this gun is a short stroke gas piston gun. Wait a minute, is it a long stroke? I forgot my hand here. Let's take a... I believe I, it is long stroke, I believe. Yeah, the gas piston's right here. Yeah. So long stroke gas piston, kind of like an AK. It has a bipod that can fold out, but now you can't touch the barrel. You're going to burn your hands. It's a very flimsy bipod, but it does work. This gun's hated by gun enthusiasts, by the way. Uh, it has a cross bolt safety. Lots of plastic, fantastic. But the biggest thing is it is illegal to buy in Massachusetts and it takes AR mags. Now, I don't know offhand what you can get right now, one of these four, especially oh, the bipod came open. I didn't close it well enough. So you're probably looking anywhere from like 700 to 795. If you find one of the used market, maybe you're looking at like four to 500, depending on how old it is. I have not had any problems with this gun. I have not shot it that much. It's about four point, like four pounds, six ounces unloaded. Uh, it's very lightweight. Very handy and hated by a lot of people, so. Gotta get this to clip in here. There, now we're clipped in. Okay, let's get it off the table. Now, if you're looking now, as a quick, just a note, there's some other guns you can get that are more high priced, like the CZ 805 brand that comes in a lot of different calibers. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you a bullpup, 
Now you can get a comparable bullpup to this uh, made by IWI for about $1,700, $1,800. Now this is the Caltech bullpup called the RDB. It takes AR mags. It is a full ambi gun. There's no sights on it right now. I have the sights on a different rifle. Uh, it can be a full, pretty much full ambi gun. The charging handle can be reversed. The magazine release is full ambidextrous and the gun ejects cases from out back here, which does make it a little harder to check the condition of the rifle. Uh, the safety selector is pretty simple. Uh, coming in an MSRP at about a thousand bucks they have California and models that don't have pistol grips. Uh, yeah, with longer barrels. And this right here, sitting right here, I believe is a 17.1 inch barrel. So uh, quite a lot. When, okay, I'm gonna match the stocks up. You can't see the stocks. That gun has a 20 inch barrel. This gun has a 17.1 inch barrel. So you definitely can see a, a difference here. Uh, but then again, a lot of people don't like Caltech and don't like bullpups. So a lot of the people who want something more mil spec will go for the more, you know, $800 more, you know, without tax looking for the, uh, you know, without thinking about tax, which is not cheap in Massachusetts because you've got to pay a lot of other taxes. Um, yeah. So this is a lot more of a budget option. Uh, I, I had a problem with it, but that was my fault. Uh, when you're taking it down only pop out where they these two pins when you're taking it down do not loosen this pin back here a little bit leave that one in place if you loosen this pin a little bit and then break the gun open especially if it's new and not you know used and worn in very well uh you will break off one of these back ears i did it caltech did it for free they paid for shipping uh, i believe both ways they um uh, they went ahead and polished the barrel, uh, the chamber for me, which was cool. So, uh, and it was very, it came back very quickly. I have not put a sight back on it since then. Uh, I've been fooling around with other junk. Uh, we'll get into the weeds here in a minute. All right, let's go to the, the next option here. Again, uh, people are going to hate me. Go ahead and write why you hate Caltech and how many Caltechs you've owned uh, in the comments. Make sure you include both of those. If you live in a free state, don't talk about the pistols. I don't know shit about their pistols. I oh, I did own a PMR 30 for a little while. We, we found one. I found one in state, paid a crap load of money, and then sold it for a lot less money. So uh, don't even bring up the pistols. But we most of them we cannot buy in Massachusetts. We're going to get the pistols next in a minute here. All right, so we did the two Caltechs. Let's get them out of the way. We talked about how much pre-bands cost. And how you're pretty much out of your mind. So I didn't really go over that. But now newer AR-15s. I've had some really good accuracy with newer AR-15s. But just to go over this real quickly, uh, the SU-16 and a lot of older AR-15 accuracy that I've shot, the SU-16 is close. Usually I've seen about like two to three MOA with these guns. Now again, this gun is less than half the price of, uh, of a pre-band AR. So, uh, and, and for what you're gonna do with it, it's gonna be good enough, definitely. I mean, unless if you're gonna go shoot a million tactical rifle classes and do a lot of real quick shooting, maybe you don't want the Caltech. but if you're gonna do, you know, if there's a chance, a one in a million chance you're gonna do one mag dump, uh, you're probably fine. Now, something I, I, I mentioned is the two Caltechs, the RDB and the, uh, the SU-16, both take AR mags, okay? That is important because you can find 10-round mags in this state, but you can also find pre-1994 uh, magazines that hold 30 rounds. So, uh, if you do get them, maybe get a new spring and a new follower. If you have a curved magazine, you do not want this color follower, you do not want a black follower, you want the newest updated follower. This video is in April 2020. Uh, they come out with updated followers all the time that are anti-tilt. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is one of the colors. Pretty sure I found this, this mag in the trash of the company because it had the wrong color follower and we were told to throw it away, but I kept it because I don't give a crap. Uh, 
I don't use that mag as an important uh, magazine, but it's good and fun for the range or just to have an extra mag. But you're going to want to make sure you update the springs on the followers because, I mean, 1994, uh, some of the people watching this video probably born after 1994. So keep that in mind. Here we go. Another, another option. Oh, man, the optic lost the cover on this one. This is getting into a 9 mil PCC, and now I'm kind of getting out of order, but that's okay. This is a CZ Scorpion. It is a blowback 9 millimeter PCC, pistol caliber carbine. Uh, in Massachusetts, we can only get the rifle version of this. So, pretty nice. Uh, one of the nicest shooting PCCs I've had. If you're a lefty, you will not get gas in your face. Uh, kind of like... Now, this gun's probably about 1000 or 1200 Again, if you're not from Massachusetts, don't think these prices are going to be what you're going to see. Massachusetts has mostly shops selling guns for about MSRP. Uh, it's just the way it is. Yeah, get over it. If you if you found a shop that's got it for cheaper, you know, cool. But from what I've seen from the shops that I've been in, we pay higher price than pretty much anybody else in the country. That's just the way it is. Just the maybe with, with what's going on with business. So I've seen about a thousand to twelve. 1200 for this gun new. I haven't really seen less than that used. Okay, again, here we go with the Caltex. Uh, this gun right here is the Caltech uh, SU. I'm sorry, this is the Sub 2000. Okay, it's the Caltex pistol caliber carbine. You can get it to use pretty much any magazine you've got if it's a popular handgun. This one is set up for Glock magazines, Glock 17 to be specific. It has the longer grip. Now, don't get it twisted, though. That's the Glock 17 length grip. And the Glock 19 length grip is about the same size and length as this grip. Because it's not, not designed the same way a Glock 17 is. So, it's a shorter grip. So, if you get the 19 length magazine grip, because you think you're going to be smart, there's it's shorter than a Glock 19 grip. I did not like it. So, I went with the 17 length grip which is actually about a 19 whatever all right you get the idea so this gun is a uh, nine millimeter blowback i do not like this gun uh, but i do have it it is a good gun i have modified it uh, i've got a different thing right here different tri uh, charging handle i have a different trigger um, i pretty much did all the m carbo upgrades and then i went back to the plastic uh hand guard thing right uh finger guard trigger guard there we go okay so I don't like this gun, but I still like this gun because it was about four hundred and ten dollars, which is way cheaper than any of anything else that comes close. I don't like the sights on this gun because you have to shove your face into it. The CZ is a lot more comfortable, but I mean, I didn't even like putting a sight. I had a heavier sight I put on here, and I I would say put a lighter sight on that front Picatinny rail, and it's more of going to be a scout optic for you. Again, I don't like that still, but. Excuse me, I'm filming a video here, please. I, I told you that, and thank you. So, I apologize for that. So, a little excitement. Uh, I think Piggy killed him in the game. You wanted me to talk about it. Uh, Roblox, if you don't know it, go look up Piggy Roblox if you're interested in kids' games. Okay, so, uh, what have we done here? Uh, what's special about this? So, yeah, it's a lot cheaper. CZ's way better. Shooting this gun lefty, I got a crap load of gas in my face. M Carbo uh, sent me... Uh, I, they didn't send it to me. I bought it from them, uh, but they, it's a ejection put cover port. I did not figure out how to install it yet. Uh, I'll get to that at some point so it doesn't shoot gas in your face, but I have not got to it. But here's the reason it is amazing. You push down, you pull down on the trigger guard. Okay, there's your reason it is amazing. It is a like around a $400 gun and it folds and then can fit in a backpack and that is legal there's nothing it can't fire when it's folded so there's the reason why that's awesome uh, if you needed something as a trunk gun uh, you can't really necessarily do truck gun in Massachusetts unless if it's in a safe uh, trunk is a locked container though so if you were to do a trunk gun, that is a pretty cool option uh, for what you could do. And if someone, I guess, broke into your trunk and stole it, 
you wouldn't be missing $1,200. You would only be missing about $400 and maybe, what is it, $80 for a pre-band Glock 17 mag. So yes, in uh, Massachusetts, like I said, for the AR-15, you can buy pre-1994 mags. Uh, as well as for pistols like the Glock, you can get a pre-1994 mag and have a standard capacity magazine. I know Massachusetts calls anything, as by law, over 10 rounds, a high capacity magazine. Uh, that's bull crap. Uh, 30 round, the, the magazines that guns were originally designed with are standard capacity magazines. I know they want to play word jazz with you. Here's a standard capacity MP5 mag, which is telling you what's coming next. Okay, here we go. This is another Mass Legal PCC. Pretty sure everybody should hopefully know what this is. This is a PTR 9CT rifle. It is a MP5 Navy clone. It comes with that front rail on there. I don't know how I feel about it, but it's the way I'm rolling with it for right now. I'm not spending money on a MP5 Navy wide handguard or the slim handguard. I've owned both, I don't care. It's got that on there right now, and we're rolling with that. So, this gun is about 1,000 to 1,200, depending on where you find it, in Massachusetts. Uh, it is not a cheap gun. It's expensive. Uh, the quality is pretty awesome. I'm not really sure. I think the CZ is a better gun. But, which gun do I like more between the CZ and the MP5? I like the MP5 more, because it's got that cool MP5 feeling. You can do the HK slap. can't do the slap on other guns well I guess you can do it on the uh, the CZ but it's not as much fun um, I've cut my hand doing drills going around that giant ass EOTech uh, it's the way it is so it's a cool gun it's got a real mystifying coolness to it uh, again you can get it in mass someone if someone tells you you can't get it they're an idiot because the HKs aren't on the ban uh, I believe the G36 is in the ban but the MP5 is not and this actually isn't an MP5, this is the PTR9CT. So, it is roller locked like an MP5, but it's pretty much an MP5 clone. It has a 16 inch barrel, I believe it's 16 inches. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Remember when I said I went out of order? Yeah, I forgot about the other 5.56. Five, okay, this is a Ruger Mini 14. Okay, wait, let's get this other gun off the table here. Okay, I apologize if this is not professional. I'm not a professional presenter. I don't have professional movie equipment. Uh, you know, get over it. These are my opinions, so... Okay, now here we go. We got two rifles on the table. Both of them shoot the same caliber. Well, I mean, rifle up top is 5.56 five, by 45 millimeter. Rifle below is 2.23 Remington. Now, the secret is they both shoot this is pretty much the same bullet. It's a 22 caliber bullet. Uh, I mean, you can argue all day to the blue in the face. Functionally, they're the same guns functionally. One is a a pretty much a hybrid direct impingement system where the bolt carrier group itself kind of acts as the piston. This gun is a piston gun. So you can get pre-bands for both of these guns. The only problem is, is lately with all the panic, these have been going for about a thousand bucks. These are about, you know, 1500 bucks for a crappy one. So which one would you rather get? I'd rather spend the extra 500. But if you are picking one of these up for about seven or $800, then that's a good price. Used, I don't know, stay away from, I'm gonna tell you this, you guys might not like this. Stay away from, if you do get a used one, get a newer used one. This gun is about two minute of angle all day. 
I don't like the sights. The sights were hard to adjust. Uh, if you're used to GI sights, which are very easy to adjust, these sights are a little harder to adjust. You got to turn a knob and then tighten the other knob. And it's not very intuitive, but it's, it's, what, it's what's there. Uh, you could upgrade to tech sights, which I have done in my Ruger 1022. And then you have GI sights on the rifle. But this is the way the rifle came when I bought it. Um, it's, a, it's a very functional rifle. I like that it's stainless. I like the stock. Surprisingly, you would think me, I would be a tactical idiot. But uh, it is a nice stock. The trigger is not bad. I, I love GI triggers. So a lot of my AR builds have GI triggers in them. I'm, I don't, you know, I like Gucci triggers too, but you know, it's not bad to have GI triggers. So this isn't that different. This won't be as accurate as your Gucci AR-15 builds. Uh, it might not even be as accurate as your run-of-the-mill ARs you got laying around. You know, $700 to $1,000 ARs with the same price range. This won't be as accurate. The older Mini 14s are less accurate. Uh, just, just, let's say that again. The older Mini 14s are less accurate. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, all of them are combat effective. Like I said, you can get pre-banned magazines for both of these guns. Um, you know, this is to kind of, you know, recap here. Like this video is supposed to be things that you can buy that are going to be in Massachusetts. It's kind of like a buyer's guide, but you know, it's everything's with a grain of salt. These are all my opinions. So here, let's move over to pistols. I almost forgot about pistols. So let's say you want to get the Gucci Glock that's been Gucci'd out. I'm holding too many pistols right now. You want to get the Gucci, whoops. You want to get the Gucci Glock. You want to get it. The guy's asking $1,200 for it. It's got every single thing. It's got the gas pedal on the side. It's got the RMR cut. It's got an RMR on it. It's, or maybe it doesn't have an RMR on it. It's got all sorts of crap slide, this and that. It's got gold gold lettering filled whatever lettering crazy insane the guy wants a million dollars for it maybe they someone's got a glock 17 gen 1 for nine uh, seven hundred dollars uh or 650 that i almost paid 650 for a gen 1 at one point maybe somebody's got a gen 2 19 they want uh seven eight hundred dollars for okay that is a lot of money to pay for you know what a lot of people affectionately call the honda civic so I actually don't know the MSRP on this gun right here. Okay, I don't actually believe you can find pre-banned mags. A lot of the reasons, if you don't know, people go for Glocks. What I said with the South Caltech Sub 2000, it takes the same magazine. Uh, as they, they like to buy the pre-banned magazine. So that allows you to have 17 rounds, which is the standard capacity for a 9mm Glock. Uh, a lot of people like that. It's, uh, it's, you know, the cops like it. So why wouldn't people like it as well? Cops are facing a lot of the same people every day. You walk in, maybe you, they're not shooting at the people, but you are, you know, walking into the same people that they're going up against. Uh, so what are we looking at? A SIG P320. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure you're only going to be able to get 10 round mags for this gun. If you're in Massachusetts, it will have a thumb safety. I believe it is ambidextrous. Uh, this one has a SIG optic on it. I forget why I paid for it. I got it in a bundle deal. Doesn't matter. Trigger is way better than the Glock. I don't know how I like the trigger though. I don't know if I really like it. It is pretty smooth, pretty different than the uh, Be extra safe for YouTube. Yeah, definitely SIG wins on the trigger. Okay, let's say you want a gun you can carry, concealed. Well, like I said, you can pick yourself up a Glock 19 for, you know, $1,000 with the gold barrel and all the stuff, or 
You can pick up a pig, a sig, a pig, yes, pig. Uh, 365. A sig, 365. This trigger, again, is very similar to this, the large full-size sig trigger. It is pretty, it feels pretty much the same to me. I don't have a lot of time. This gun comes with a 10 round magazine, which was, just happens to be the Massachusetts high capacity. That gun will fit in your pocket. Now, let's say you wanted a Glock 42 or whatever, but you didn't find a gun shop that was dumb enough to sell it to you without being law enforcement or whatever. Or blah 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 whatever he, reinterpretations and whatever blah 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 okay that's a great option I'm gonna put this away because it's loaded all right let's say hey man I don't want to spend whatever that is you know a thousand or a thousand or nine hundred I forget what these are this I believe is a little bit less uh maybe this is like four or five hundred I forget offhand again I got them in a deal I got a bundle deal so let's say you want to spend two to three hundred. Bang! You got a two to three hundred dollar gun right here. Now this gun, I believe, has an aftermarket trigger or, or disconnect around. I forget what the guy told me. When he it was in a trade as well. Lots of trades going on. This is an eight plus one, nine millimeter. It is the Smith and Wesson shield. Uh, that's an I believe it's an aftermarket front sight. The trigger. Is pretty good I believe it is aftermarket the trigger on these factory are not liked by a lot of people but for a you know sub $300 I'm pretty sure I saw one of these for 240 at a shop with no safety this one has a thumb safety pretty sure it was like 240 I saw one of these at a shop so this is an extended mag I'm guessing the flat mag is seven plus one I don't have it with me here it's in a bag so We've gone over some basic pistols you can get in Massachusetts. We've gone over some basic rifles. We've gone over pre-bands. Uh, we've got, oh, that's Gen 5, but we've gone over pre-band guns. We've gone over, you know, back there, the Sandy Hook gun, lower at least. Uh, we've talked about guns you can still get today. We've talked about cheap ones. You know, like I said recently, these were going for a thousand bucks. I would never pay a thousand bucks, but people were under a gun, man. They really wanted something. They really needed something. They were offering a couple mag a couple boxes of ammo and pre-band mags with them. So you couldn't get an AR, couldn't get whatever. But I guess the joke is there was two of these guys sitting under the counter. There was two SU-16s sitting under the counter. And people bought all the mini 14s up and not the crappy Caltex. Again, this gun is lightweight. This gun uses the um, the same magazines as the AR-15, so you can get standard cap mags. Definitely a great option. Uh, a lot of people don't like it because it's not mil it's not military looking, mil spec, A team looking. I don't know, whatever. But either way, we've just gone through a crap load of options. The video is way too long right now. But uh, I mean, I guess the thing is, if you're in mass, the gun shops are closed right now because they're not considered essential. Go see my previous video about the lawsuit that the lawsuit did end up getting filed. I got to do an update uh, comment about that. But I talked about the lawsuit that was going to be probably getting filed. It did get filed. It got filed, I believe, a day early. If you haven't seen that video, you can go check it out. Uh, this is just like an up, you know, a, what's available? What can you get in mass? What can you not get? Um, a lot of these are just my opinions. You know, deal with it if you don't like it. Uh, comment down if I got something wrong. If you think I got something wrong. Uh, Pre-bands are not always the answer. Sometimes you might have to go with a post band gun like the Caltech and if you're stuck with this with 10 round mags that's okay it's not bad uh, you can still defend yourself your home your life you could hunt coyotes with it uh, I guess if you had to I, I wouldn't if you weren't doing it legally but uh, yeah either way there we go that's it this is Rupan RX uh, out of all of these let's say you don't live in this state out of all of these which one would you like to take I guess you can mention guns that I mentioned that aren't budget either. But either way, uh, if you are in the state and you have more questions, just leave the question down below. I can tell you more about them, tell you if I hate them. Some of these guns I have videos on already. I don't have videos on everything. Uh, it's just the way it is. Have a great day. This is Rupan RX. Thank you very much.